forgive my brother's temper. It's said over time wargs adopt the traits of their animal. And your news was... unexpected. You see, Gregor Forrester was our father. And we are his bastards. I doubt anyone knows. It was his dark secret. And he feared his family would find out. No one at Ironrath knows of this. Not that I've ever heard. I suspected as much. Josera would say he banished us to hide his shame. But I like to think it's because he knew what we were. That he was protecting us in his own way. We thought one day Gregor would come and see everything we've built. But instead it was you. You are the first to arrive. It must have been a difficult journey. Few try. And fewer still live to tell about it. I fought the Freys. I fought the dead. It wasn't easy. But I've endured worse. I can tell. Not many can survive this far north of the Wall. But here you are. Our father entrusted us with protecting the North Grove. That has always been our purpose. But we've learned there's a power here, Garrett. A power we've only just begun to understand. Winter is coming. And we haven't much time. Gregor Ven Fionn and Bjorn Sager Ven. Sveolod Mopre Befastan.
Did you know him? Maybe I'm wrong, but you keep looking at him. <sighs> he was my friend. His name was Finn. He was here because of me. I let him join when we left Castle Black. That was his choice. It's not your fault. Now his watch has ended. You fought well. For a crow. I saved your life. I wouldn't go that far. Although I admit, you can fight. Maybe they did teach you something at Castle Black. You fought well yourself. Or at least your bear did. <laughs> His name is Shadow. Killing them I don't mind. It's the burning that stays with you. You'll never forget that stench. Did you see what they just did? They don't care about their own. My sister has trained them well. Emotion is a weakness, according to her. They don't mourn their dead. They've been trained to fight. Nothing else matters but that. They're more my sister's doing, not mine. The Whites grow bolder by the day. Ever since the Wildling tribes went south with Man's Raider. I need to go back. Here, let me help you. I'm fine. It's nothing. I should return to the village. Fulgor and Vaisenir. Did you not hear me? Fulgorin! Suna! <laughs> what? Wait! Fulgorin Vaisenir. You're losing control. What was that? It's blood magic. The more she uses it, the weaker she becomes. And they can sense it. Elsera's a fool to keep taking these risks. One day, they'll kill us all if we're not careful. Is there some way to help her? She is convinced her blood magic is the only way to protect the North Grove. That her warriors are the answer. But she can't control it. I worry about her. It's more dangerous than she knows. She was right about one thing, though. The Whites are growing bolder. And the worst is yet to come. Now that my father's dead, there's no reason to stay. That's why he sent you, isn't it? To bring us back to Ironrath. To crush our enemies south of the wall. And avenge his death. We can't leave the North Grove. And stay here to die. I'd rather live. You said yourself, House Forester is in danger. This is our chance to do something about it. Where's Sylvie? Never trust a fucking wildling.
gods. Those are human teeth. Jailer, please. Shut it! Please come here! Hello? I excuse me? What do you want? Can you get me out of here? Because if not, I don't want to know. Hey! No talking! Jailer! Jailer, come over here! Oh, don't you start again! Why don't you come here for a moment? We can have a little chat about it. God's woman, I said shut it! Or I will come in there, and you won't like what happens. Well, what do you want then? Tell me! Please! I'll do anything. Just tell me! Ugh, bastard! Before the day's over, they'll take us straight to the block. So don't give me that look. You can leave the judgment to the Father, whatever gods you believe in. I don't judge you. We've all done things we're not proud of. I have a son. A little baby boy. I think of the smell of his skin. His tuft of brown hair. There is nothing I wouldn't do. Nothing. Just to hold him again. That's what getting out of here means to me. What would you do in my place? I'll never see him again. Your family needs you. Nothing else matters. I do whatever it takes to survive. Whatever it takes. My lord, please, please take me out of here! Mira, making friends already, I see. Be quick. We'll be coming back for her next. For your trouble. Oh, no, no. Come on, you! No. Fucking mouth! They'll be here for you soon. You don't have much time. What are you doing here, Morgren? Come to rub your triumph in my face. Far from it, Lady Mira. I've come to make you an offer. I was thinking about what you said. Your relationship with Cersei is valuable. And if you also find your way back into Marjorie's graces, well, it would be a shame to waste such influence. And then I realized there's something far more valuable than your friends at court, Mira. Your name. I want you as my wife. Your wife? Have you lost your mind? Not at all. This makes a lot of sense for both of us. I want Ironrath. And you're going to give it to me. It may not be the grandest castle in Westeros. My family would never allow it. If you go anywhere near Forester Lands, my brothers will kill you. That might be difficult for them. Two of your brothers are already dead. That idiot Lud will take care of the rest. <laughs> he marches on your house in full force with ten times your numbers. I'm sorry, Mira. None of your family will survive the battle. You don't know that! Ironrath will fall to you. And through marriage, it will become mine. A whole fast in the north 
can only help my ambitions. If all this happens, I want revenge against Lud. Promise me he dies. Let me be clear, Mera. You're in no position to make demands. It's fitting our betrothal begins in a cell. I'd say it's a perfect symbol for the rest of your life. You plan to keep me locked up? Well, perhaps not literally. If you play your part and produce my heirs. The murder of a Lannister guard can't go unpunished. But I can get you out of here, Mira. One word from me, that coal boy takes your place on the block. Tom! All you have to do is agree to marry me. You'll give up your power. You'll give up your ancestral home. But you'll be alive. So, Mira, what do you say? You will never have Ironrath. And you will never have me. What? You fool! I'd rather die. Fine. Have it your way. She won't get far. Not out here. Please, let me go! Sylvie! Uh, he's my brother! I, I wasn't finished! <laughs> when you're finished here, come see me. There's something I must show you. I don't trust these people, Garrett. Which was why I had to see Cotter. He's not well. And he, he won't live much longer. I'm sorry, Sylvie. I need you to do something for me. I didn't want him to suffer anymore, Garrett. Just to ease his pain, but... That's when they found me. The nightshade. I need you to be the one to end his suffering. But... It's our way, Garrod. You have to feed it to him. I'm trusting you to do this, Garrod. You're the only one who can. Are you sure this is what Cotter would want? I know he would. We'd never let free folk suffer. You'll see. He's in so much pain. I did everything within my power to help your friend. But I'm afraid it's too late. Nothing can save him now. Sylvie told me. Nightshade? What are you going to do with that? You realize it's deadly. And has no place in here. What are you doing with that knife? It's meant for you. You? It's me, Cotter. I'm here. Where's Sylvie? I want to see her. 
Where is she? Did something happen to her? Don't worry, she's right outside. She sent me to help you. I thought, I thought they took her away. been incredibly brave. A lesser man would have died days ago. But I suppose you already knew that about him. You said you'd help him. I wish I could. But I'm afraid it's too late for that now. But he can still use his death to give his life meaning. This was always intended for my father. It's a sacred symbol of the power of the North Grove. Forged from iron. The handle made with ironwood from this very tree. In my father's absence, you speak for House Forester. It seems only right that you should have this now. You're here for a reason, Garrod. It's no accident they sent you. I promise. I'll make Lord Forester proud. I know you'll do what's necessary. Your friend is dying, but his life is too valuable to waste. Give me his heart, his beating heart, and his death can have meaning. We can use it for a greater purpose, Garrett. An ancient ritual to help harness the power of the North Grove. But... We must do this, Garrett. I fear what might happen if we don't. Why me? Can't you do it yourself? Not alone. I'm far too weak. You saw what happened after the fight. My warriors, they're pulling away. Please, I need you to do this. For me, for the North Grove. I'm ready. Garrett. Please. I can't take it any longer. End his suffering. Use his life to make us strong, Garrett. Give him that poison, and his blood will be useless. I'll do it. For the North Grove. I knew I could count on you, Garrett. Use the dagger to open his chest. We need his heart. <laughs> Grab his heart, quickly, while his blood still pulses through it. Now bring it here. Squeeze the blood into the fire. While it's still warm. Thank you, Garrett. I know it was difficult, but you did the right thing. Now we must burn the body.
too many fucking guards. Keep your heads down. We'll have to find a way to distract them. Tower gives a great view over their camp. More guards. Place is crawling with them. Horses hate being tethered during a battle. If we can just get them loose. Enough thinking. Where do you want us? Cut the horses free. Send them galloping through the camp. Horses? That's what you want. That's what we need. A distraction. Fine. But if any white hills get in our way, might have to cut them loose too. Meet here once you've done your part. Good luck, Basilisk. Try not to get yourself dead, Westerosi. Can we rely on them? You can trust them to fight. Beyond that... Come on, let's get this done. Secure the forester boy. Make sure the little shit can't escape. He can't run if he doesn't have legs. Do what you must. And if anything happens to me, kill him. Yes, father. Bring me my great sword. Fuck. What do we do? I want to make him bleed. Follow them. They'll lead us to Ryan. But, lad... Bring my brother is more important. Fine. But before this is over, I am killing that man. I'll take Griff and his men head on. Sneak behind. Grab Ryan. Get him the hell out of here. Let me go! My brother will kill you all! Oh, God, hold him down, will ya? Be careful, Roderick. I swore to Asha I'd keep you alive. I'll do my best. Uh, uh. Grave. Oh! Uh. Roderick Forrester. I thought I'd have to tear down your walls to get your head. But here you are, making a gift of it. Oh, yes! I'm starting a collection! Don't you, Roderick? Your origin, 
makes you sloppy. Where's the Rossi? You leave. Where's the basilisk? Last I saw, she escaped with my brother while I was taking care of Griff. He's dead. Good. I thought Beska would be here with Ryan. Beska will have to take care of herself. To Iron Rock! have broken through and the rest of their forces may cross the gates at any moment. We need reinforcements at the gates. Have you seen Mother? Why are Has you? She? Have you seen Mother? No one knows where she is. Now! <laughs> My Lord, your command. Protect our people. Get them away from the battle. Get them to safety! Now this is the war, Asha promised. A 
was hoping to face you whole. No matter.
What you did was right. I did what I had to do. I'll let you light the pyre. Your arrival has changed everything. Even though we've been preparing for it all our lives, now we don't have much time. We were sent here for a reason, to protect the North Grove. Winter is coming, and we have a role to play in the war to come. Our father never would have wanted us to stand by and see how Forrester fall. Not while we can still do something about it. It's too late to reach Ironrath. It may already be lost. You know protecting the North Grove is the right thing to do. Those were Gregor's last words. They sent you. You should decide. House Forrester needs our help. So we'll gather our forces and march south. May the gods guide us and protect us. In the name of the King, I hereby sentence you to death. Bring forth the next prisoner! This young woman is accused of murdering a loyal servant of the king. Who here bears witness to her crimes? I will speak to them. This woman is a traitor and a murderer! She's innocent! A disgrace to her family no. name! <laughs> oh, Go on! Traitor! Shay. Take her head! Mira Forrester, in the sight of gods and men, and in the name of the king, End I it. sentence you to die. Shay! Raven! Kill her! If you have final words, Shay. speak them now. She's innocent! No. Raven! Kneel!
Forrester. They were nothing but Stark loyalists. And the Starks are dead. Are you listening, Reek? Father wanted to make sure they'd bend the knee. And what do I find? A child lord. Ethan the Wise. With his bulldog sentinel at his side. As if I'd be afraid. And I thought, oh, this is going to be fun. Mira was so devoted when we first came to King's Landing. That day Cersei dragged her before the throne, Grandmother, I was actually worried for her. But she didn't have any trouble swearing loyalty to Joffrey right in front of me. And then after that whole business with Tyrion, I thought she knew how to stay loyal when it mattered. And then that letter she forged to Elena Glenmore, as if I wouldn't find out. It was bold, I'll give her that. But I can't forgive that she used me. And now, with all that's happened to her, who knows what else Mira was doing without my knowledge. Grandmother, it makes me question if she was ever loyal to me at all. I saw something of myself in Garrett Tuttle. I thought I could trust in him, Sam, but I was wrong. He gave me his word that he'd stay true to the vows he'd made in the Godswood. Yet before her day was out, her brother was dead atop the wall. I needed his sword at Craster's. I'd offended him to Frostfinger. And it cost me. Whatever happened up there, a man of the watch doesn't run away. Who should return then? But another Lord Forrester. Roderick. Back from the twins with his balls so shrunken he let Griff Whitehill beat him into the mud in his own yard. Reek, I had to come and see this walking tragedy for myself. But he didn't even have the courage to stab me with my own blade. But then, he jabbed out that fourthborn's eye. He killed the man who betrayed him. I was rather starting to like him. And then I thought, let's play again. That's when the fun really started. There was something about Asher Forrester. You would have liked him, Miss Sandai. He was rude and aggressive, mind you. But he, he didn't play games. Asher needed my help. I needed to know if he deserved it, so I tested him. And he impressed me. He followed my every command, despite what it cost him with his companion. For that, he earned my help and my respect. I wish I could have done more for him. Perhaps, if I had, things would have turned out differently. Loyalty. Friendship. Respect. Without them, we have... nothing. I think, in the end, Mira came to understand that, Grandmother. She could so easily have turned on Sarah to protect herself. But instead, what she did it took grace. If you're fierce enough, you leave King's Landing with your honor intact. Mira proved that. But at so high a cost. Roderick. I could have told him this story wasn't going to have a happy ending. His brother dead, his mother dead, his little pile of timber in ruins. I just wish I'd been there to see it. That Bolton bastard let their upstart houses go to war, Father. I'm not unfamiliar with these foresters. Stubborn to the end. They were clever, I'll give them that, but far too sentimental. <laughs> Ruled by emotion when they should have been smart. Instinctive instead of shrewd. When will these Northerners ever learn? The Starks are dead. The war is over. And they lost.
Baldrick? We don't have much time. 